we've been here since August 20th nonstop. Diamond was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer July 13th on my birthday. We're from LA. Um, me and the girls were here in Kansas visiting my mom who's on her fifth year of COPD, just spending some extra time, and Diamond started tipsy walking. And we thought it was an air infection, and our life changed after a cat scan. It happened so rapidly, I mean, we basically had what we had on and that was it. Luckily, I mean, we were here and we're having to stay in a hotel or something because our kids had Christmas this year. And it was an amazingly huge Christmas. <laughs> I mean, it was a Christmas that we couldn't have even given them had we not been here. They really go the extra mile for the kids that do have to be here, either for treatments or with their siblings. They just get, had a big surgery on the 14th of January. They took out 80% of her tumor, which we were told was inoperable. So it's amazing. The oncology department here is great. But the house, like whatever you need, whatever it is. We were out of formula and they pulled the formula out for us. So, they help a lot, and they have a lot of support groups. When she's awake, I want to be awake to spend those moments. And I want the kids to be awake and to want to spend those moments as well. <laughs> because it, it's going to be a hard day ahead. Unless they get a cure. <laughs> putting together resource books for families to give them all the resources based on the medical condition because when I put it out there on Facebook that I was going to do that I literally got probably about 300 emails back from people wanting to help from across the world because That's fantastic. yeah because there's nothing done for all of them People have put together some information that they've got for like brain cancer, some for leukemia, some for different things, but nobody's actually gone ahead and yeah, bit the bullet and done the work to complete it all because it's lengthy and it's how I get away mentally from the stress and it's, it helps us, it helps all the families. It'll be there, it'll be easy to revise. So, and we're gonna have a cup. We're gonna make sure that all the Ronald McDonald houses have at least a copy at the front desk, so that people that stay here can use it as reference and resource. And then we're gonna start with Children's Mercy, and we're working with them on working with them as well, because they're going to disperse it to all families of chronically ill children. tumor is in the middle of her brain and then it goes down into the brain stem. 
So they touch everything in the brain that doesn't like being touched. So it, it takes a while, but then like two days after her surgery, I have pictures of her in the hospital lifting her legs and exercising. I'm like, what the heck? I was just taking pictures. I'm like, nobody's ever gonna believe this. <laughs> I told her when she was in her coma that when and if she was ready to just rest, I would let her. And she's shown me that she's not ready. Um, and we're all glad.